water bottle right ya, ladies and gentlemen. Get it up! I don't think I meant to say get it up. I think I meant to say maybe giddy up. But like, you know, also get it up! Hey friends, hey fam, what's poppin'? I hope you guys are doing so super well today. Staying hydrated, living your best life, and checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind above anything else. My name's Janae, and I post home decor and lifestyle videos right here on the tube. And today, we're gonna do a little January favorites video because Why not? <laughs> I have some music, movies, shows, home products, um, and beauty-ish products, and maybe you could benefit from some of these items, so why not chat? Why not, why not take a crazy chance? Anyway, let's jump into this video, and yeah, I'm not gonna ask you to like and subscribe because you haven't seen anything, so like, why would you do that? So the first item I want to share are these bomb, super bomb AF candles. Mm. <laughs> They're by Sand and Fog, which I don't know who that is, but we find them only at Home Goods. That's the only place we've seen them. Anyway, their candles are so affordable at Home Goods, and they're huge. They last, I mean, scale to scale. Um, and they last for a long time and oh, they smell so good. Made with essential oils, it says. Inspired by the California coast. Oh, this smell is limoncello. Limoncello? Limoncello? I'm not sure, limoncello? We've used so much of this candle. No lie, no lie, no lie, yeah, yeah. The next home item I wanna share are these faux hanging plants from Ikea. If you are not about that plant life, but you want to look like you are, these are the best. They still add that touch of greenery to your space. I just think they look cute still. Like they don't have to look 100% real to be cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> Said every person in Beverly Hills ever. It has this little pot that's not that cute. That's not that cute. That came out of my butt. <laughs> okay, I burp on camera, yes, but I have never, ever butt burped. Like, that was not cute. And the last home item I wanna show is this jar opener. I don't know if you've seen these before, but these are amazing. It has these ridges along the edges, and because it starts wide and gets narrow, it's intended to open any size jar almost. So even like my little tiny um, vanilla extract, it's so small, the lid. However, it never wants to open. So it fits all the way down here, and then you just go and it's open, like that's it. Or if you have a wider jar, you know, it'll be towards the top, and that's it. So yeah, get you one. Bailey, what are you eating? Is it my stuff? Moving on from home and into more food type stuff, um, I want to put this oat milk on the map because the Oatly brand is so, so good, like fire. And if they were to ever sponsor me, like, yes, I would be promoting the ish out of that milk. However, like my bank account is not happy when I'm buying Oatly consistently. It's just not. However, Trader Joe's has oat milk now or oat beverage, but the ingredients are just water and oats so there's nothing added to this no added sweetener now this one is a little bit more watery than the oatly one it's not as creamy but it's still really good and it still is creamy enough to save a few bucks versus having extra cream like we good fam we good if you live anywhere where it gets a little chilly in the winter That'll be funny in a second. Um, and you like chili. 
<laughs> this is not actually funny. Anyway, I'm just trying to share my favorite chili recipe right now. I found it on Pinterest and it is fire. It is seriously so good. Follow the recipe exactly, but then if you like a little bit of extra heat, um, add some jalapenos to the actual um, chili pot and let it, them cook with the chili. And I take the seeds out of most of my jalapeno slices just so we're not going overboard, but it adds really good flavor. Um, but yeah, check out this recipe. I usually pour mine over cornbread or eat it with tortilla chips. It is so good and I'm really excited for you in that journey. Been lost for so long. Okay. Now for music, I am actually just going to link a January Favorites playlist down below because there are some songs that love um, and I will put those on there. But if I had to best describe the music, it's kind of like ambient, indie, mixed with like R&B and then mixed with some like indie folk, mixed with some indie pop, mixed with some alternative R&B, like there's just a mixture. And there might be like one or two random pop songs on there because sometimes you're in the mood. So anyway, there's a little bit of everything, some hip hop, like no one is left behind on this playlist. So peep it baby, peep it. <laughs> peep it baby, peep it. Continuing on with the whole entertainment theme, I'm gonna share some TV shows and movies that I've loved this um, month. And I just finished Succession in January and whoo, drama, the drama. I mean, that show is intense. Like if you don't mind watching a bunch of overly wealthy people fight for their coin, then you need to check it out. It's good. I also uh, started season two of Killing Eve and like you just cannot go wrong with Killing Eve. Like Sandra Oh kills it, Villanelle. I don't know her name as an actress, but like if you haven't watched Killing Eve, you need to watch it like ASAP. And then the only other show that I like loved, loved, loved in January was Cheer. Like, come on. Ooh, if you haven't watched it yet, it's a docu-series and it's only six episodes, but it's about the best young people you will ever see on television. So like, stop playing games and watch it. The only movie I got to see in January was um, Little Women and that was so good. I love Sorcy Ronan. I don't even know how to say her name. That might not even be her last name, but I love that actress. Um, and then, you know, Timothy Chalamet's Timothy Chalamet. I could snap him in two. <laughs> I haven't seen any other movies in January because I don't have a car since I've been at home in transition before this move to LA. So I'm not going to the movies as often as I usually do, but I actually usually go to the movies a couple times a month just as like a treat to myself. It's my favorite thing to do alone. Um, so I'll be able to share more movie recommendations as the year goes on. On and on and on and on. Don't wanna grow up. I wanna get out. If you know what movie that is from, let me know down below so I know I'm not crazy. These next things I wanna share just have to do with overall wellness and growth and development. It is the start of 2020 still, and I hope you guys have been doing well with your intentional planning for 2020. Um, and if you haven't, like whatever, January is a trial month, like pick it up, you can do this. The first action step I took um, in January regarding making some of the changes I want to make in 2020 is reading the book Atomic Habits. Um, a lot of you guys actually recommended it in my 2020 goals video and I have loved it. It is so good. It's by James Clear. I clearly didn't know that till just now. This book is great because it gives you tangible ways to just change your perspective in regards to growth, development, goals, change, and overall habits. Habits, 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 and that's what leads to the changes we wanna see. And that can oftentimes be very overwhelming, but he does a great job at breaking it down and showing you that it's about those tiny, those tiny changes that lead to big change. 
Secondly, on growth and development, most of my month has involved planning for my move um, across the country, which we're down to 11 days. I move in 11 days. <laughs> but anyway, um, a lot of that has been me looking at my finances and getting real with what my options are and what my goals are financially. A lot of you guys also recommended in my goals video for 2020 to check out YNAB and like, you guys are the goat. You really are the only goat. Like, I love y'all because YNAB is fire. By the way, that just stands for you need a budget. I am actually just now setting up my YNAB everything because I didn't start researching it until a couple of days ago. I will list what YouTubers have given me really great insight for YNAB um, and they have their own videos as well. What's really nice about it is that it kind of works differently than a lot of the other financial planning apps um, which actually don't really help you financial plan. They more so just help you budget and YNAB really focuses on helping you actually put money right where it needs to be to get yourself to where you want to go um so yeah i highly recommend checking it out and i'm like kind of giddy because i'm just so excited to set mine up um it just makes so much sense continuing on with wellness and lifestyle this water bottle right ya, ladies and gentlemen get it up i don't think i meant to say get it up I think I meant to say maybe giddy up or like get you some. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> but like, you know, also get it up. <laughs> but uh, I love this water bottle. One, it has this little rubber thing at the bottom. So it just kind of protects your countertops, gentle surfaces, or if it falls, it also protects the bottle from shattering where they often shatter easily. Two, it doesn't get cold on the outside or sweat. It has this nice little holder to easily carry it or clip onto your backpack or gym bag. And then the best part is the little mouth I needed. Like I was using swell bottles. You know when you're like on the treadmill or on any type of cardio machine and you're trying to drink from a swell, it's just like. So this little tiny lip is nice. No mask no fuss um so i'm happy and then it has a really protective seal so there's no leaking so i was looking for a new solution for removing my makeup because i had been using makeup wipes just out of being purely lazy um and i knew that they just were not the best option for my skin and the environment because i was not the type to wash after i used the makeup wipe like i'm just gonna keep it real i never wanted to do that and i got a sample size of this deep cleansing oil i think it was pretty popular at some point i don't really know but anyway i really like it it gets all of my mascara off easily without pulling on my lashes so that was the main priority for me i'm not having to like rub my lashes like this with the cloth i just use my hands and it melts all my makeup off i will definitely be buying the full size once this is up lastly in the body little section is this kapari natural deodorant but I've tried two other brands of natural deodorants and like they just weren't for me. I didn't like the consistency of them and it just seemed like it was taking so long for me to not smell bad. But then I tried this for the last month and I really like the texture of it. It's like kind of milky and feels like cooling when it's on your arms. Oh, anyway, it feels really good to apply. They smell really nice. This is a coconut oil one. Um, and it says they're aluminum free and vegan, but definitely worth you looking into because I have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> it was nail polish? Whatever, like I don't know. But I will say it did take about three weeks for my body to kind of detox, I guess, 
and adjust to using a natural deodorant. Just be aware that for those first couple of weeks, you're definitely gonna smell a little like different up, up in these nether regions. However, uh, one of my very close friends and my mom both told me they never have smelled me um, smell any type of way because I was a little concerned. So I don't know, whatever, whatever. Jesus probably smelled bad, so we good. Anyway, my battery's about to die. I love you guys so much. You know who you are. You the best. <laughs> you the baddest. And you ain't nothing but a bad bitch. Hey. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's connect. Let's do life together. Bye. Bye.